Anon Milchan is probably one of the most famous Israeli Americans due to the fact that he produced some of the biggest Hollywood blockbusters, including Pretty Woman, Fight Club, and LA Confidential. Forbes magazine has placed him as the 37th most wealthiest Jew in the world. But it seems that Milchan has a dark secret he has kept for many years. In an exclusive TV interview to Ilana Dayan on her investigative show Uvda, which means fact in Hebrew, she has gotten him to admit for the first time on record about his secretive and sometimes illegal involvement on behalf of the Israeli government. I had heard, but I wasn't sure. The Ilana Dayan expose has gone viral even before the official air date of the show, something that Dayan says is not really that surprising. In a way, it's not really surprising. You have a mega producer, you have mega Hollywood stars, you have this sexy, glamorous environment, you have this clandestine world, you have nuclear triggers. It's really all the ingredients one needs uh, to make a hell of a story. So it's really not surprising. I, I, I am not sure what he had in mind. He didn't make any conditions. He didn't make any reservations. He didn't ask for anything. He didn't take any breaks. I asked whatever I wanted. He answered whatever he wanted. But I think in the bottom line, what he wanted is for people in this country to know what he did for them overseas. Do you know what it's like to be a kid of 20-something whose country lets him be James Bond? For many years, rumors have surrounded what Arnon Milchan actually did on behalf of the Israeli government. But now, explains Dayan, it's all out in the open. It's amazing when you understand that he was only 20-something and the state of Israel gets into one of the weirdest and darkest alliances it ever made with South Africa. The apartheid regime, regime was at its worst, uh, but the South Africans offered Israel uranium for Dimona. In exchange, Israel promised to embark on an amazing, unprecedented international PR campaign to put a nice face on apartheid. And who better for the job, who is better for the job than Arnon Milchen. And he's the one designated by Shimon Peres to go to the South Africa and to embark on that public relations affair. Hundreds of millions of dollars Milchen admits to have received on behalf of the State of Israel from the South Africans to buy television stations. It was even contemplated to buy the Observer. They'll express, he's, he's speaking on it on camera. I was amazed because, you know, for many years, people have spoken about it, have heard about it. It was kind of rumored, but I didn't really imagine him coming on camera and confessing. Uvda has followed Milchan on and off for over a year. And then one moment, like a catharsis waiting to explode, it all came out, admits Dayan, who was with him on his private jet en route to the set of his newest flick. It's very evident in retrospect that it was in there, it was in him, it was wait, waiting to burst out. It is very evident. Two minutes before landing, all of a sudden it comes out. I did it. I did it for Israel. Because people in Hollywood always kind of held it against me and I kept defending myself and I kept apologizing and I kept evading the questions and now I want to say it out loud and I think it has to do with age, it has to do with success, it has to do with the fact that nobody can really harm him today. He's wealthy enough, he's successful enough, he's powerful enough, who cares? It's no secret that Milchan is one of the most important movers and shakers in Hollywood. However, being there with him when it happens is very overwhelming, says Diane. First of all, it was a hell of a ride. I mean, the guy arranged for us to meet David Fincher, Ben Affleck, Warren Beatty, Jennifer McConnelly, Russell Crowe, Robert De Niro, you name it. Some of them, by the way, uh, surprise us and him in terms of what they say. And, um, and, and yes, it's evident that, uh, that uh, many of them either heard or knew or saw something. And it's, 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 it's especially particularly interesting to watch De Niro answer these questions because when Milchen was in the midst of the biggest drama of, of his life, when one of the shipments of nuclear triggers for Israel went wrong, this was the time in which he was filming Once Upon a Time in America. He was dying for De Niro to take the leading role. 
And De Niro sits with us in his upstate New York mansion, and he says, I heard something about these little triggers of nuclear something, but I didn't ask him much about it. He knew that Milton is undergoing really the biggest drama of his life. The guy that really, uh, uh, I think, puts it in place is Tom Rothman, the ex-chairman uh, uh, of Fox. And I ask him, didn't it ever raise an eyebrow in this town in terms of dual loyalty? And he says, you know what? In this town, there's one loyalty, one religion, one God. Make hits, bring profits. That's the only thing that matters in Hollywood. A little known fact is that although Milchan has been living in the U.S. since the 80s, he has never given up his Israeli citizenship, nor has he become an American citizen. He is avidly devoted to Israel and has convinced many of the Hollywood A-listers he works with to endorse the Jewish state publicly. For Jane One, I'm Ron Jacobson in Tel Aviv.